everybody, I'm Miss Aline and I want to thank you for joining us again for Kids Corner Armstrong Cable, channels 20 and 100. Today we're at Jackson Milton Elementary School with the kindergarten class and it is all about identity, who we are and who we'll be. So stay tuned for our very fun butterfly handprint identity art projects after our two stories. Hey everybody, how are you today? Good, I'm glad I'm here. I'm Miss Aline and I'm here to hang out with you for Kids Corner on Armstrong Cable, channels 20 and 100. So today it is all about identities, who we are and who we will be. So we've got two really fun stories and a really, really fun art project where you guys get to do all sorts of fun things and be very creative and show your own personality and your own preferences and identities and all that good stuff and create your very own butterfly project. So we're gonna get to that in just a little bit, but right now I have a couple of questions for you guys. So um, do you know what identity is? Anybody know what your identity is? Okay, so let me tell you what your identity is. The identity is who you are. And everybody here and everybody everywhere has their own identity. There's no two people ever that are ever, ever, ever completely alike. Does anybody know what happens when you're little and then you grow up. Do you look exactly the same? No. No, you change a little bit, don't you? Do you sound the same when you're little as you do when you're grown? No. no. Your voices get a little bit deeper and a little bit bigger and all sorts of things. Um, are you the same size? No. No, huh? So lots of things change between when you are littler and when you are bigger and older, huh? Has anybody here ever found out what a butterfly is before it changes? One person I want you to tell me what a butterfly is before it changes. Let me get you with the glasses right there. Me? Yep. Uh, well, it starts as a little uh, caterpillar and that's then it right goes up into a butterfly that's right and it goes through some changes in between doesn't it just like we do huh but their changes are really dramatic we don't really start off per se at least outwardly where everybody can see us as like a caterpillar and then turn into a kid do we um, but butterflies do and so that is one thing about a butterfly is it actually kind of changes its identity, doesn't it? It goes from a caterpillar to a butterfly. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And this is by Jonathan Allen and it's called, I'm not cute. <laughs> Baby owl decided to explore the woods. Nobody will bother me, he thought. Then along came Rabbit. You're so cute, baby owl, said Rabbit, and so small. And Rabbit gave baby owl a great big hug. I am not cute, said baby owl, and I am not small. Does he look very happy? No. He looks a little angry, doesn't he? Okay. I am a huge and scary hunting machine with great big soft and silent wings. <laughs> then along came Fox. Doing a little dance, baby owl, asked Fox. You're so cute and fluffy. <laughs> and Fox gave baby owl a great big hug. Does Baby Owl look like he's very happy with this hug? No. no. 
I am not cute, <laughs> said Baby Owl, and I'm not fluffy. I am a huge, sleek hunting machine with great big see in the dark eyes. <laughs> then along came Squirrel. <laughs> You're so cute, baby Al, said Squirrel with those big baby eyes. And Squirrel gave baby Al a great big hug. <laughs> I am, what's this word? Not. not cute. And I don't have big baby eyes. <laughs> then along came Mama. There you are. How's my baby owl? Asked Mama. It's not fair, said Baby Owl. Rabbit, Fox, and Squirrel all say I'm cute, but I'm not. Yes. Of course you're not cute, what? Baby Owl, said Mama. You're a huge, scary, sleek, sharp-eyed hunting machine. And Mama gave Baby Owl a great big hug. Baby Owl thought for a moment. Hmm. But I am cute, said Baby Owl. I am, I am. Uh-oh. So when Mama said he's not cute, he thought about it and he was like, wait a minute, I'm your cute little baby. What do you mean I'm not cute? So was it okay for Squirrel and Fox and all of those guys to call him cute little baby, cute little owl? No, but was it okay for Mama to call him cute? Yeah. Yeah. Poor baby owl, said Mama. You're tired, it's bedtime for you. So Mama Owl says, Mama Owl says, you're tired. It's time for bed for you. And Mama tucked Baby Owl into his warm, cozy bed. She read him a story and Baby Owl drifted off to sleep. And Mama says, you're so cute, Baby Owl, whispered Mama. For a huge, scary, sleek, sharp-eyed hunting machine, that is. Good night, baby owl. <laughs> and that is the end of our story, I'm Not Cute. Did you guys like that story? Yeah. That was pretty funny, huh? Yeah. So, baby owl feels like he is what he's going to be. And he's gonna grow up to be a sleek, sharp-eyed, owl hunting machine with big silent wings, isn't he? Mm -hmm. But right now, he's a cute little baby owl. <laughs> but his mama tells him what he's gonna be. So that's what he wants to hear all of his friends in the forest say to him. He doesn't want to hear, hey, you're cute from all of his friends. He wants to hear, oh, you're ferocious. Oh, you're so brave. Oh, you're so strong. You're sleek. You're a hunting machine. And when he gets called cute, he doesn't like it so much. But when mama comes around, he wants mama love. So he doesn't mind being cute right now. So that's a funny story about him finding his identity. Now, we're gonna talk about Clara Caterpillar. Does anybody know what one of the gifts of a chameleon is? <laughs> Let's get you. Um, it changes colors. It changes colors. Now, can anybody tell me why a chameleon or some lizards and things change colors? Chameleons change colors so they don't get eaten by predators. That's right, and that is called camouflage. Has anybody ever heard that word before? Yes. Does anybody know what camouflage means? 
so they can hide. They can hide. They can blend into their background of wherever they are and not be seen so well. So Clara Caterpillar is by Pamela Duncan Edwards. Let's go into our story. Clara Caterpillar. One day, a cream-colored butterfly laid an egg on a cabbage leaf. Grow up to be courageous and contented, Clara, she called to her egg as the wind carried her away. Clara lay curled in an egg case for a considerable amount of time. Eventually, a crowd of caterpillars clustered around her. She's incredibly late coming out, commented one. She's very cautious, agreed another. A curious caterpillar knocked on Clara's egg case. This is Cornelius, he said. Come on out. But I'm comfortable in here, called Clara. Is Clara a caterpillar yet? No. Nope, she's in an egg right now, isn't she? Is she going to be in an egg for her whole life? Nope, that's going to change, isn't it? Who cares if she comes out? Scowled a scowling caterpillar called Katisha. It's clear she'll only be a cabbage caterpillar. Cabbage caterpillars are so common. Don't be cruel, Katisha, Cornelius scolded. Cabbage caterpillars are cute. Did you say cabbage? cried Clara. Cabbage sounds scrumptious. Does anybody know what that word means, scrumptious? Somebody I haven't called on yet. You right there with the gray shirt with the heart. What does scrumptious mean? It's yummy. It's yummy. So Clara cut a hole in her egg and clambered out. I'm a lucky caterpillar, she said. Cornelius, come and share this delectable cabbage. Anybody know what delectable means? You in the back? Mm-hmm. Cabbage? Nope, delectable also means yummy. Clara and Cornelius climbed and clawed and capered about. They had carefree caterpillar fun. They crammed themselves with cabbage, carrot, and cauliflower leaves. They grew into colossal caterpillars. Does anybody know what colossal means? Somebody I haven't called on? Growing up. It means really big, so that's very close. Colossal means humongous. So they grew into colossal caterpillars. Then one day Cornelius called, Clara, come and make your chrysalis. Don't encourage her, mocked Katisha. She's only going to become a common cabbage butterfly. And a chrysalis is what happens when a butterfly makes their cocoon and they make like a little webby thing around them. A caterpillar actually, not a butterfly yet. So a caterpillar makes a cocoon called a chrysalis. Why is Katisha being catty? Clara asked. Katisha is conceited, comforted Cornelius. She knows she'll become an attractive crimson colored butterfly. Then Clara, Cornelius and the other caterpillars caught on to the cabbage, carrot, and cauliflower plants with cottony threads. And that's where they're forming their chrysalis with those cottony threads. They crinkled and discarded their skins and cuddled down inside their chrysalises. I'm crushed in here. I'm creased. I'm crumpled. I hate being cooped up. I'm cramped. I'm coiled like a corkscrew. My back tickles. It's making me cranky. I can't scratch. I can't cope, complained Katisha. So they all have gone into their chrysalises and they're all squished up into this little cocoon. 
Now what's happening while they're in there? Does anybody know? Are they still going to be caterpillars? What's happening in there? Has, can it, it, let me get somebody I haven't called on. You in the back with the t-shirt with, what are those, bears? Yep. Uh, they will turn into a butterfly. They are changing and they are turning into what they're going to be. Remember we talked about that? Chloe, cried Cornelius to Clara. Are you comfortable? Actually, I'm very cozy, Clara called back. Then one morning, the chrysalises began to crack and out climbed delicate creatures. Cool, cried Clara. You all look captivating. Cornelius, you're a terrific copper color. Why is that scruffy creature conversing with us? complained a scowling, crimson-colored butterfly. Katisha, Clara said, you are spectacular. Of course, replied Katisha, and you, Clara, are so cream. I think cream is cute, declared Cornelius. Cute, Katisha snickered. Don't be ridiculous, Cornelius. Then Katisha climbed towards the clouds on her scaly cobweb wings. Suddenly, a crow cawed and scared everyone. Snack time, he exclaimed as he caught sight of the crimson-colored Katisha. The butterflies panicked and frantically scattered in all directions. So she is a beautiful butterfly, but when the crow sees her, does he think, oh, she's a beautiful butterfly, or does he think, oh, a big red snack? I think he thinks a big red snack. You can't escape, screeched the crow to Katisha. Katisha, I'm coming to the rescue, cried Clara. Clara, be careful, screamed Cornelius. Plucking up her courage, Clara flicked her wings at the crow. Catch me if you can. You scalawag, she taunted. And scalawag is kind of like you naughty thing. Then Clara curved down and ducked into a camellia bush. The crow became confused. Do you see Clara in there? Yeah. And forgot about Katisha. He cocked his head and pecked in the flower petals but Clara, the cream-colored butterfly, lay camouflaged behind the curtain of cream-colored camellias. That's curious, complained the crestfallen crow. I was confident I could capture a succulent snack. The coast is clear, Cornelius shouted. The crisis is over. Congratulations, Clara complimented the other butterflies. Clara, you're so clever, cried the shocked Katisha. I could never camouflage myself like you. I'm too colorful. I was crazy to scoff at your cream color. It's incredible. And cute too, declared Cornelius. De <laughs> declared Cornelius. Cornelius clapped his wings. Listen carefully, he commanded. That crow is a scoundrel. Kind of means like a naughty thing. Let's cling close to Clara. Clara can stop him from catching us. Clara is so capable and courageous. Clara is lucky to be cream colored, said Katisha. And I'm completely contented. I'm a completely contented butterfly, said Clara. And wasn't that what her mommy wished when she first laid that egg? That she would grow up to be a contented, and let's see, what did she say? A courageous, hmm, and contented butterfly. Did Clara become both of those things? Yeah. 
Yes. So she went from who she was when she was in the egg to who she was going to be when she became a butterfly. Everybody like that story? Yeah. Me too. And now it's time for our very fun butterfly, butterfly art projects. What we're going to make is our very own butterflies. But what's really special about these butterflies is we make them with our handprints. Everybody's handprint and fingerprints are different. Did you guys all know that? Yes. So what's happening here is we are actually using our identity and part of what identifies us to help make our butterflies. So we are going to start by taking our glue sticks and for now I want you to move your butterfly faces off to the side and move your antennas off to the side and make sure you don't lose your googly eyes and you're all going to take your butterfly wing and you're going to put glue with your glue stick on the back of one of them and make sure that you cover your whole butterfly wing with the glue from the glue stick, okay? So after you're done, if you're done with that, bring your paper plate up. And I want you to line up right here and you're gonna pick two colors to make your butterfly patterns with, okay? So now everybody should have their wings for their butterflies on their paper and you should have your paper plate with two colors, right? Now I want you to pick which color you want to be your main color. Have you figured out which one you want to be your main color? Okay, we're going to tell you. So if you look at my example, here we go, on my butterfly, the main color is blue and then there's yellow accents on it, see that? Okay, so on this one that I'm doing now, I'm going to make the dark purple my main color. So I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to spread my fingers out and I'm going to put paint all over my hand. And I'm going to make sure my whole hand is covered in paint. Everybody see that? Now don't touch your neighbors with your painted hand, but everybody take your main color and cover your whole hand in that color, okay? If you look at it, it kind of looks like the shape of your hand if you spread your fingers out. So spread your fingers out really, really wide and then you're going to put your hand right there and then put your fingers down. And don't move it around after you put it there. You're going to lay it down there. You're going to make sure that you put your whole hand all over your paper and then just lift it up and you should see your hand.
you are going to cover your fingertips just like your four fingers. So take your four fingers and cover those up with paint just like that. See that? I didn't have to cover my whole hand this time, just my fingertips. Why? Because what you're going to do is in between the fingers of your handprint, you're going to stick and make sure your fingers are nice and wide. You're going to stick your other fingers right in between and make another print like that. everybody, I'm Miss Aline and I hope you guys had a lot of fun with our Identity Day. It is our Identity Day where we talked about who we are and who we will be and identity. So until next time, again, thank you for joining us on Kids Corner for Armstrong Cable Channels 20 and 100 at Jackson Milton Elementary School today with the kindergarten class. And until then, we say Bye. goodbye. Bye.